Welcome back. I am here with longtime friends and amazing, amazing creators in this world. We have Maria Simone and Chad Warren, who are here to talk to us about one of their latest projects, United Tiny Homes. So in the spirit of disrupting, let's talk about how tiny homes have disrupted something we just took for granted, which is homes. Yeah. Thanks. What are you guys doing? Lauren, it's so great to see you. So thanks for having me. Really us. fun. You know what? We and and during COVID, uh, you know, we we have a, a media company, a media fund, and of course everything got shut down during COVID, and so we had a little extra time on our hands. And what was really uh, hurting my heart, and I kept obsessing over it, was the growing housing prices. I mean, there's currently a shortage of about seven million. Uh, housing units in the country. It's 11 million people looking well, especially for especially affordable housing. Yeah, affordable housing, and and it was growing. Uh, you know, every it's growing every year, uh, especially with COVID. And so we just really we were concerned about that. Like, how can we get involved? How can we? I mean, because we're it, Chad's a broker, and I've been in real estate investing, and it, it wasn't just about uh, doing the same old, same old. We said there's got to be a solution, and we kept thinking tiny homes, tiny homes, and out of the blue. Uh, a, an old friend had called us who's in a completely other another industry i'm in another industry and she says i know you do financing because we have a fund i know you do financing do you finance tiny homes and i'm like get out like what, where did this come from she goes i don't know but i want to i want to be a part of there's a housing crisis i know we have to do something she's like i moved to phoenix to do tiny yeah, homes yeah. and <laughs> it was amazing and we just we all came together and we just strategized and we put it together and the key was uh, number one, we had to really tie up the, the supply chain. So because there's a, even in tiny, tiny homes are really popular, but there's also a back order. Uh, most companies are out like a year over a year. So we have actually really every company doesn't matter whether it's tiny homes or manufactured homes or RVs, everybody's a year to two years out. That's and unbelievable. It's a huge yeah, issue. It, yeah. So we had to make sure we tied up the supply chain. The other thing is we had to create designs that were not only the cute, sexy homes that, you know, we, we grow and accustomed to seeing, but, you know, these are housing solutions. People need to live here. These are the starter homes for the young millennial couples. And these are people that, you know, want to live closer to where they work. And so we have, we have models that are really, they're beautiful homes. They're spacious kitchens and bathrooms and they're ADA compliant. You can turn wheelchairs around in them. So we had really good models. We have a whole bunch of models. And the other thing is, uh, you know, to make sure that we can deliver on time. So we, we actually created a process where we can deliver within 60 to 90 days. Yeah. And so, so we had to have access, right? So wow, that's amazing. So tell us, tell us what constitutes a tiny. Well, by definition, a tiny home has to be less than 400 square feet or less. Okay. Uh, I think above that is considered a park model, but we, uh, so our initial ones were like 255 square feet. There was a, like a studio. Um, we had a one bedroom that's a hundred, uh, 340 square feet. So these are eight. That's and a half our most popular model. That's our, so one yeah. bedroom, big, beautiful kitchen, but full bathroom. And, and wow. it's like sells for $85,500. And there's financing. And it's eight and a half feet wide, 40 feet long. So that way we can transport it anywhere without a permit. And it, the thing is actually built like a regular home, like a, a wood frame construction house. It's built to last 65 years. This is not your typical RV or mobile home. No, but it sounds like the measurement of a, a flatbed truck. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's exactly. And the size and we, of a New York yeah. City apartment. So, <laughs> yeah, actually, you're right. Having lived 27 exactly. years in Manhattan, I definitely had a few of those. Exactly. exactly. Now we're building some bigger ones. We have like 400, 500, 540. And so now we have some bigger ones that we're doing, uh, you know, for parks. We do it, you know, for RV and mobile home parks. We do a lot for uh, people's backyards where they do what's called an ADU, accessory dwelling unit, uh, that they can put it for their family uh, to live in, or a lot of them just rent it out or do Airbnb and offset their mortgage and, and, and their, uh, their high valued houses that are living in. That, that was a real blessing during COVID. Uh... Uh, we weren't, I mean, we knew we were onto something and our coming out, I mean, we put this together in weeks and on May 1st, we appeared at our first home show in Arizona. People waited in line in a hundred degree temperature. For 115 degrees. 150 for hours. I mean, we saw the <laughs> line. They were in they line waited. for hours to come see the homes. We sold so many units and people were saying, 
it, it, was, it was COVID. They had moved their kids in and their family and everyone was living together and they had nowhere else to go and they couldn't move and there was no other places to move to. And, and so they were buying the units to put, you know, in their backyards and kicking their kids back out of the house or, you know, they were trying to create extra income because they had lost their jobs. And so they were able to get financing for the homes and immediately create cash flow or they were buying little pieces of land uh, where they couldn't, they couldn't find homes in the area. So they would buy land and just ship a, a, a few units. Yeah, we to took the land. like 17 so, orders that very first weekend. It was over and we had just booked, we opened the, you know, we incorporated Wednesday, opened the bank account Thursday, started taking orders on Friday. And oh it's my God, I just got to tell you that you have hit on a very raw nerve. Go tiny, live large. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love your motto, go tiny, live large. So where are these communities centralized? I mean, are you right now only in Arizona or are you beyond? No, we, so, so currently what happened is the, the company, this has only been a few months, the company's grown by leaps and bounds. We had our you know, million dollar year, our first month of 2022, we did well over 3 million in orders. We just got a $40 million contract. So we're growing exponentially. We, we have two more 30 minute million dollar contracts behind that. Yeah, so, so we're uh, right now we're expanding our manufacturing. So we have a manufacturing facility in, in Arizona, but right now we're servicing California, Arizona, Utah, Nevada, uh, Texas, Colorado. Uh, we can ship anywhere in the world. It's just a, whether they want to pay for us to, to ship it. It's just, we it's hook still, it up to our pickup and take it there. And but, it's still more cost effective. We're getting orders from Hawaii and, yeah. and other countries because it's still more cost effective for us to ship, a, you know, a, 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 a home rather than having them source materials for building or even the time to, to build. So we can do yeah. that within a couple of months. So we're going everywhere. But to answer your question, we have one uh, manufacturing in Arizona. We're expanding. So we opened 10,000 square foot facility. Now we have another 50,000 square foot facility. That's opening up uh, in a month. We're also manufacturing in, in California and we'll probably put one in Florida manufacturing facility. And we're getting another one in Arizona and then possibly one in Florida. Yeah, so and everything's the, moving very, very quickly. And, the and next it's not even a year old. Yeah. Not well, even most, a year old. Actually, most all that happened last month. So yeah, this all happened last month. <laughs> So you had you had your thirty million dollar year in your first thirty days, basically. <laughs> so we're the goal. I mean, I'm, well, we did more business in January of this year than we did all of them. Yeah, and and it's it's growing and now. Like and now it's going like twenty x. But right now, uh, first of all, California has the best ADU laws. We're we're uh, very uh, they're lenient because we're really it's it, it's kind of releasing this the pressure you know sure. for homeowners so you're a lot as a california homeowner landowner you, you can put the ad the adu units yeah. you can put uh, four units on any yeah, additional single family units. residence oh, yeah. wow. yeah. so we're so, what just happened in january 1st but people oh, yeah. so not only are we working with individuals to you know do that in their backyard but we're working with real estate investors as well because our goal was to help alleviate you know, reduce the pressure of the affordable housing crisis. So we'll work with individuals to put multiple units on, you know, plots of land and all of that. Park owners are buying uh, multiples of the units to put in, in parks. But our goal is to build intentional tiny home villages, uh, communities near urban areas. So people can live closer to where they work. And not only do they have their own home, they can, you know, own, but they'll also have shared community areas, work areas. So just really kind of reimagine the old, you know, yeah. mobile home community. I mean, there's nothing wrong with mobile home parks. It's just, I think there are new solutions that need to be. We're going to rebrand it and make it much more, uh, more community uh, based. And it's way more hipster cool. I don't care way what you guys do just by you, you being the <laughs> people who are doing it, it's going to be way more hipster cool. And, and what I'm hearing is that you're actually providing a real solution for entire populations. And I'm thinking the veterans community, the senior community, like you said, the, the first home, you know, new couple community, um, adding, adding prop, you know, adding housing options onto existing properties. These are all populations that have a real need and you are answering that question so beautifully congratulations and thanks, thanks for sharing <laughs> and lauren a day one when we first when we made our premiere that day we were we appeared on um fox. uh the uh, yeah. we appeared on fox news live in the morning and as a result of that the va came there was a the head visit. of housing for va came he was in from in from washington dc saw us on the news came to visit us and said we want to provide va financing you know to to our veterans to uh live in tiny homes. And so it's taken all this time. We had to get HUD approved. So now yeah. we're 
we're just getting our HUD certification, HUD approval, and yeah. now pretty soon we'll be able to take VA financing. Yeah, we actually have a unit that's, that's going through HUD approval. As soon as that's finished, probably another month or so, then they will walk it through the VA and get us approved for VA funding. And that's going to open up. That Oops. is super. Congratulations <laughs> and thank you. Because on, on every level, this is such a need being filled, uh, just a real blessing to so many. So thank you so much for really jumping in with both feet, all of you. <laughs> yeah, it's like sliding. Oh, yeah. Every, every, right? day, like every, every day, day. Every day. <laughs> like an avalanche. We, we in our office. A lot of like, driving back and forth to Arizona. And, and also yeah. even our workforce. And we have a, we have a really dedicated cool. you know, team. And we remind them when we're in the office. And they work so hard. You know, when we're getting ready for a show or something. I mean, they'll sleep in the homes overnight. Yeah. You know, you see them. Curl, well, I shouldn't we had, say that. We, we, had, we had them all <laughs> doing their vision boards the other day, which is very cool. But, but yeah. We, but the we other part is, is we're going to be doing, uh, we want to really have an impact on homelessness. Yeah. So. so, well, two things I want to tell you real quick. Well, you know, the, the vision in the office, everyone has knows that we want to take that number down, that 7 million number down. Right. And so I rem we remind everyone, every time we sell a house, that number keeps going down. So they're all like in that. And so that's really important. And the other thing is we want to create a sustainable model. So uh, we want to support uh, helping to eradicate homelessness. And also as we grow and scale, like by the second, we need more builders. And so we do have a model that we'll be implementing that we're working on is we wanna work with homeless veterans and give them housing and then teach them vocational skills, namely building. And so hopefully that'll help us build our, our we'll have our build crew as we grow the company and have our warehouses around the-, the So uh, my goodness coming out of just a, a moment of genius, really. <laughs> Thank you so much. So tell me something, how, how can people learn more? How can they get involved? Who would you love to hear from? Well, uh, first of all, That's people, if you go to Instagram or Facebook and go look up United Tiny Homes, you could see the, the guys build and the ladies building the homes, you know, live and we vi videotape and we film everything. So that's a lot of fun to see our models and to see the builds. You can also go to unitedtinyhomes.com. It doesn't have everything yet. We're kind of updating. We're completely um, redoing the website right yeah, now. So because we have about nine models that we haven't incorporated yet. And but. we're working, you know, currently working with, uh, as we grow the company, we're working with investors who want to come in and support us during this moment of growth. I mean, this is, you know, this is like asset back. We have wonderful opportunities for people who want to get involved on a deeper level, either as a real estate investor who wants to participate in building parks with us, or, you know, even homeowners who want to be part of alleviating the housing crisis or, you know, contribute, be part of the company uh, in other ways yeah. as a partner. So we're always looking for support. We're doing, yeah, we are doing a raise to expand our manufacturing capability. If somebody wants to get involved right. with us in that way as well. So there's a lot of opportunities. Uh, we just, love to give we self-funded the boy it, people want to do the same it's thing. growing our demand is uh really just amazing so we're so I'm happy about so that good. well that's how you know you're on the right track right that's how you know you are absolutely doing good by doing right so congratulations thank you so much for coming to share with us i know you stepped out of your conference which is the background noise that we've all been hearing but i couldn't pass thank up the you. opportunity to bring you guys to our audience and to share all of this great news maria simone and chad warren from united tiny homes thank you so much for joining us today thank you Laura. thank you, Talk to you soon. thank you we'll be right back